Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and um, Merry Christmas, apparently. It's laundry day, okay? Judge me not. In case you're new here, what I like to do from time to time, which is most of the time really, is make mukbangs, which is basically sitting down and eating an entire meal. Today I decided to talk about my weight loss as a vegan. I went vegan like August, around August 2015. So yeah, going on three years and you know, I just want to talk about this real quick. Why is there hair? in my broccoli that's disgusting i have a like a bowl finally i went out and got a bowl there's a lady watching me this is so awkward hi neighbor <laughs> okay girl nosy anywho i have like a bowl i still don't know how to make it pretty yet so it's not gonna be too pretty looking whatever i have some broccoli cruciferous vegetables i have some pumpkin mm-hmm I love pumpkin. Anything that's a little sweet, but it's still a vegetable, I love you for life. I have some paprika, aka bell peppers. <laughs> I have a rucola, like a rucola salad mix, and I also added some. What did I add? Oh yeah, just I squeezed a little lemon so it's a little zesty. I like that. I also stir fried some rice and beans. Mm-hmm. There's like a little bit of mock meat in there. Just to add a little bit of flavor. Mm. Pumpkin. My weight loss journey while being a vegan. Well, honestly, I, it came to veganism initially because I want to look good. <laughs> that was really it. Not just like with the weight, but also with your, your face, your skin, everything. But around that time, I remember mm, I just came back from living in London for like three months and honestly I had the time of my life up there I was eating so much crap so I definitely gained extra weight and I'll, I'll, I'll include pictures because I don't, I don't believe me mm. oh my gosh like this is so like my face looks different I think I was around 72 or 74 kilos and like I'm 168 in centimeters I don't know you have to convert that to and I don't, I don't get your system, America. I'm not here to fat shame anybody, obviously, but it's just this. This just isn't healthy. Literally, I was overweight. I wasn't obese, but I was definitely overweight. So that was not okay. So it's like a little later that I decided, okay, let's try this veganism thing out. It takes a while. Like in my case, I went pretty quick. I went to. Mm, low carb vegan i remember at the beginning though i was eating so much pasta and so much right like crazy amounts i was also following youtubers but there are people that like they would cycle three four hours a day so of course like their recommendations is based on that like highly active people i like at most will work out like an hour a day okay i'm not i'm not i ain't got time for that <laughs> So clearly, I was still doing the most. So once I went vegan, I remember the guy I was dating around the time, he wasn't vegan, and he had this dumb idea. <laughs> he had the terrible idea of going like low carb, and that was the worst thing in the world. I am not gonna lie, I did drop the weight like that, but honestly, I would not, I would definitely not um, recommend that to anybody because it seriously just drains every like you have no energy you're grumpy all the time you're just tired it's just not a good feeling i remember around that time too that was around the time that like my first like we were shooting a video clip so i obviously wanted to look good and lose weight because i was like i cannot be this big old swamp monster just <laughs> pooching around nobody want to see that in a video so i was definitely trying to lose weight around that time and i did eventually lose weight but honestly i felt like crap and it was not worth it so then i just went over to like you know i'm trying to eat like more whole foods and stuff like that and once i started doing that i wasn't even being the healthiest all the time one of the worst things that i do is like i'm the biggest midnight eater Ever. like I wake up to eat it's so bad and I know it is like my favorite thing is like a little bit of cereal 
and then with some soy milk but I don't even get the normal soy milk no I have to get the vanilla soy milk which is basically sugar and soy and a little bit of almond milk you know just to break it up and make me feel like oh it's not all unhealthy so yeah that crap I eat at night that's terrible so right now like for, since the past two weeks I've been doing uh, the, I've been following the daily dozen app and immediately I I see like results like I tighten up way quicker too like as opposed to when I wasn't vegan that's definitely a thing so my advice would be to just go vegan and try to stick to whole foods do not do the whole low carb thing I really would not advise it it's really one of those things where you like lose weight quick and then you gain it back again or you lose weight quick and you don't feel good I think at my lowest at some point I was at Hmm. 62 64 kilos so like I lost about 10 to 12 kilo mm -hmm. and right now I think I'm maybe back up to like a 64 or something yeah probably I don't know I haven't weighed myself in forever I just go by the way I look because even when you weigh yourself like obsessively mm, that can't be good for you. You guys, so yes, I am being healthy, but I've got Ben and Jerry's. This one is peanut butter and cookies. Girl! I love the cookies. I don't love the peanut butter, but I'll still eat it. Chunky Monk is still bae, though, which I also have in the fridge, but I haven't had any since I went or since I started, like, doing the daily dozen. Sometimes people I randomly haven't seen in a while will tell me, oh my god, you look so good. What are you doing? I'm like, girl, I'm not even being that healthy, to be honest. But uh, it's nice. It's really nice. Like I really feel better. That is the one thing I'll say about veganism, no doubt. I just feel better. It's it's a feeling you can't describe it. You'll have to try it for yourself and find out. Because I've also spoken like to people who've been like, yeah, like my body, the way my body's set up. If I eat carbs, I blow up, girl. I can't do it. So I gotta stick to low carb. That is seriously, again, that is hell. Vegan and low carb is a lot. And I can't tell you like where it works for your body best. <coughs> oh, there's another one, but it's still stuck in there. The carbs that you eat as a vegan is necessary because that's basically where you get your energy from. And so that's why it gets burned as well. So carbs really don't make you fat. But again, if like somebody comes to you and tells you, but my body, you know my body, it's like, you know what, hey girl, do what you gotta do. Mm -mm. But if you ask me, I don't think so. Your body definitely has to adapt because if it's used to getting like meat, 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 and then just from one day to the other, it's a 180. And you're not eating no more meat and you're eating a bunch of other vegetables and fruits your body's like wait a minute what's going on i don't know how to what is what does this mean so i definitely think you need to give it some time mm. i've heard from people like through youtube not directly so i don't know but i've heard from people that for some people it takes like about a year before their body really adjusts and they start losing like they get to the goal weight that they desire you know, and really start losing weight because some people I've heard that actually even gain weight initially. But that, that, that should not scare you off. You should keep going. Because again, I think we all want to get to the part where you just look good and you feel good, like body wise, but you're not trying so hard. Like that would used to be such a such a worry like every day for me like it was always there not not that i was like oh my god obsessed with it or whatever but it was always in the back of my mind mm, i really love the rice little arroz moro situation okay that's like in curacao we make beans and rice remember it's not it's not even curacao but latin america beans and rice man it's not that groundbreaking Crunchy, mate. I don't like broccoli that much, but mm, it's definitely one of the foods that I just tolerate. That's all I have to say about that. Wait, what is rucola called in like English? Trilingual struggles. I'm sure you can speak Spanish too, kind of, un poquito, pero 
Hace mucho tiempo que no hablo en español, so you know, it's not that great. <laughs> I have some Instagram buddies that are Spanish, but like, if their English is bad and my Spanish is bad, so then our conversations are just deplorable. <laughs> oh yeah, arugula. Oh, it's ricola in Dutch. Dutch word of the day! Ricola! Yeah, not my favorite, but I also just tolerate that too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And also like Madison Mugbang, she's also a YouTuber that makes mukbangs and vegan obviously or else I'm not watching but <laughs> mm. She had like one video when she was like She had a mukbang with all this food that she hates. I think she hates like cucumbers. Who hates cucumbers? I don't remember what else, but it was so funny And she was like you should make one like that too, and I'm like I don't know. I don't think I hate I, there's not much that I actually hate. Basically, I'll eat anything, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. Ugh, it's yum. Boom! Couldn't do that quick enough. Mm -hmm. So clearly, I've already been eating. <laughs> I've been eating since yesterday, and I had like red lipstick on, and I see like red lipstick bits in here. How? Wait a minute, you know what? I take back everything I said about peanut butter as well. I know this is not on the list. Dr. Gregor, don't judge me, please. But this is so good. Mmm. 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 Okay. It almost tastes like caramel. Oh my gosh. So, so good. <laughs> so that's it for my weight loss journey. Just eat whole foods, you know? Just be healthy. <laughs> I like plain vanilla too. Like, yeah. Ben and Jerry's is really rich. Like, it's like, oh, chunks and whatnot. Mm. I just like vanilla. But this is fine too. I shut up. I don't know if it's actual Oreos, but it looks like Oreos. So good. I'm not gonna read how many calories. I'm not. <laughs> I'm just gonna upset myself. Definitely follow me on Instagram as well, you guys, because I've been doing more shoots and whatnot. Obviously, more music is coming out, so you'll stay up to date on that as well. Plus, I have a photo shoot this Sunday. Oh my gosh, Amy. I need to do better. If there's any other questions you guys would like to ask me, hit me up on Instagram. Don't be shy. If you want to say, hey girl, just say, hey girl. <laughs> if you want to say you suck, go ahead and say that. I mean, sometimes I even agree with you. It's cool. Whatever you got to say, just say it, man. I don't know if you can see it, but look at that chunk of cookie. They, throw the whole, they just threw the whole cookie in there. I am mad at you, Ben and Jerry's. Hmm. Which one is my favorite? I don't know, honestly. I just keep thinking to myself, like, okay, just one last bite. Hmm. Oh my gosh, I have a dinner tonight. <laughs> you know what? Time to put away the ice cream. Wait, I gotta stop. I gotta stop. Somebody stop me. Okay. That was today's video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely like, subscribe, follow. Also, don't forget, shameless promotion time. My single All Good featuring <laughs> My single All Good with Rochelle is out now. I'll add the links below, so definitely check that out too and give it a thumbs up. And um, what else? What else? Yeah, I gotta go eat again. <laughs> I'm such a mess. But anywho, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any other questions on the weight loss or just going vegan in general. Maybe I'll make a video about it. Or any other random topics are also fine by me, girl. Like, I'm down for anything. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. Remember to subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye! Derp. Um, yas. Ew! Like, look at this laundry day outfit. Like, this is just how laundry day am I? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Playboy shorts with the rhinestones on it and two chains as they have been saying. Two chains! Mm. You know what? I'll just go.